Uh, Anthony, time yeah. for some Mayor Menino audio. Ah. And let's not forget about the guy that slapped that kid in a mall. I yeah. think it was. We'll get into that story. Walmart. Yeah, I want to do that, but we've been teasing this Mayor Menino audio. Yeah, Mayor Menino's up for uh, the uh, re-election, I guess, huh? It's amazing. We left Boston... Boston. I think 11 years ago, I think. Yep. And he was the mayor before we got there, and we did three years in Boston. Yeah. Uh, I guess he's been at it for 16 years, and... 16 fucking years as mayor of Boston. Oh, is this good? It's, uh, is it worth playing? Ooh. Just to get the point across. Right? All right. Remember the... Um, the PGA Championship call that guy came up with said it was really douchey. Oh, yeah. When uh, Tiger Woods, like, uh, choked to this uh, Y.E. Yang, I think. Y.E. Yang. I think that's his name. Yee Yang? This is how it went down. Well, here you go. This is it. This is this is to change the game. Parts all around the world. Y.E. Yang. Y.E. Y E yes. He goes Y E yes. He was waiting to say that. Oh, was he hoping that went in? I think that's what it comes down to. When you know the announcer has been waiting to been say the wait, certain right, phrase, right. that's what drives me nuts. If it comes off the cuff, didn't just pop into his head. Right, like, right, y -E -S. right. Yes. Right. Holy shit! I no, just, he had that written down in front of him. He said, yeah. "All right, if he makes this putt, I'm just go waiting." Yeah, right. <laughs> well, don't mind me. What is that about? I don't know. Oh. Oh. What is that, oh, boy? Oh my God! Stop! Oh, he's, gonna, he's gonna rip off okay. the guy. <laughs> what? Face. What? What? Why? <laughs> this is. Why was he eating bugs out of his no <laughs> hair? <laughs> no. What? No. That's not what was happening. No. <laughs> I don't think that's what was happening. But are you sure? It's very funny. <laughs> I was a little confused there. Yeah, mm. me too. Love well, how no. my funny stuff is visual. Uh -oh. that, that's that works great for the radio. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ed, Mayor Menino. So th he did a debate last night. He's been the mayor for 16 years, and we learned that he was able to somehow avoid debating people on live TV. Yep. And obviously it's because he sucks at speaking. He can't speak. He he might be a good politician. I, I don't even really know. It seems like Boston does okay. It seems like Boston runs itself. Right. But uh, Mayor Menino is up for re-election, and he finally had a debate for the first time on live TV with other candidates that sound so much like politicians. Yeah. Smooth talkers. Yep, they've uh, they, you very, know, very. They're very good at public speaking. They know how to uh, answer questions at a debate. Mm -hmm. They know that political lingo, and uh, uh, they have the nice voice. Yeah. And then Menino is like a, they threw a retard in there <laughs> just for the fun of it. You want to start with Mayor Menino's opening. Statement: Run on ideas <laughs> yeah. and run on sentences. He he doesn't know how to wrap up an idea. He's stumbling over words, mumbling, getting words wrong. What's What's fun about Mayor Menino? You get to put the periods in for him. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. See where the period would go. Yeah. All right, Mr. McCray. Thank you, Mr. Menino. Boston better off or worse off? Uh, thank you, John, for uh, having this forum this evening <laughs> and to the audience out there. Thank you for being interested in a campaign about the future of our city. Boston today is a different city than it was four years ago. When we think about the issue of development, we continue to improve our neighborhoods. <laughs> neighborhoods of Boston today are stronger than ever before. When it comes to public education, we're making progress in the Boston public schools Flogwest. every year. Flogwest. We think about crime. Scrime. The lowest crime rate in 40 years right scrime. now in the city of Boston. That's what the city is all about. Jobs. We're in the green job era. And how do we create more jobs for the future? And, was, and on the green, green issue, let me tell you, this is about the future. <laughs> We've done a lot with green job training. We continue to move fast and forward when it comes to our city. Boston, Boston we stabilize the tax rate. The last two years, the tax rate has been stable. Yeah. How do we get there? Because good financial management uh -oh. of our city, and that's what we do every day. Manage the city well for the people of Boston. Make sure the taxes and the rates of taxes are stable. Mr. Menino, thank you. He's what the fuck was he covering <laughs> there, by the way? He sounds like, you ever hear uh, or watch a sixth grader debate? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he was just trying to fill up as, as much time as he could with as much babble about mm. everything. Green jobs. We agree. We are, we're in the green job era. It's the future. And, and with that, green jobs as the future. Future. <laughs> like that's that's how a sixth grader would, would debate that. Yeah. All right. He's the worst.
Uh, Mayor Menino continues by arguing with his opponent about street flaggers. What's a street flagger? It's like they moved, you know, the traffic oh, through the, the construction that, sites uh, and stuff. Yeah, you know, oh, they're, using, oh, okay. they're using cops. And so the debate was whether to use cops to do that or just hire people to just wave the flags. Ooh, flash. that's a biggie up there, man. Yep, the police details. The, there's a policeman on every construction site in the Boston yeah. area. Yeah. I forgot what that's based on, but I think it's based on the fact that somebody did their job horribly wrong, and, mm. and, and I think they lost some lives. So they said, nope, we're giving this uh, detail to the cops up there. Four hours to learn how to be a street flagger, a civilian flagger, to get their certification in Massachusetts. I'm for eliminating police details so that we can have policemen fighting crime in this city. Thank you. Mr. Menino, one minute. I'm in favor of police details because give me 200 additional police officers in the streets of our city. <laughs> I don't know what he said. He said I'll give him 200 unconditional police. Well, I don't know what he said. It's not I go, 200 additional conditional details because give me 200 additional police officers in the streets of our city. Now, just think, imagine having flaggers on Massachusetts Avenue as you're doing construction. Who's going to get the cars towed? Who's going to move the traffic? But also, detail officers help us fight crime. Just look at Charlestown the other day. Two officers on detail solved the bank robbery. The other day, uh, two officers on, on detail helped solve another crime. They work, and, they, and the cost is approximately the same as a de as a flag man. So the details, there's a lot of conversation what? about that. But why do we protect the state police and why do we have the Boston police? We need police officers on Mass Avenue, Dodge Avenue. On side streets, <laughs> yes, we can go with flag men. But our main thoroughfares in the city, it's about moving traffic, it's about fighting crime, it's about more officers in the streets. Thank you, Mr. Wow. You, you, wait, 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 Mayor Menino, you mean to tell me that a police officer on a detail work uh, on detail work as a flagman is the same amount of money as just some scrub <laughs> waving a fucking flag. Stop it! Wow. Why are they homeboys for uh, Mayor Menino? Bofferston loves him. <laughs> it certainly they does. certainly do. Mayor Menino says something about schools in this clip. <laughs> something. <laughs> We're not quite sure what it is. No. Yeah. You, Mr. Menino, one minute. I propose in district charter schools. What I want to do is take the underperforming schools, what? give the superintendent <laughs> and the school committee the opportunity to move those underperforming schools up to a place of choice schools in our city. We don't need more schools. We need better schools. In 2006, Boston was given the Broad Prize for the best urban school system in America. And just recently, U.S. News and World Report listed eight of our high schools were nationally recognized by them. Do we have problems? Yes, we do, because we take every child in. But we're dealing with some of this. You know, the dropout rates decreased by 30% since I've been mayor of the city. That's important. Also, we take on, we put full kindergarten in Boston for four-year-olds. We uh, went from three K to eights to 28 K to eights. That's what we're doing. But charter what? schools, we, I was never against charter schools. I was against the issue of Child financing charter schools because they get more money for their school, students than I do for the Boston Public Schools. That's my issue. Oh, charter what, schools? What is that what he was saying? Your issue? Oh. Child schools? I think he was trying to say the word that Chas we say schools. as charter. Charter, charter? schools. Why does it come out child? It sounded like China <laughs> schools, too. <laughs> I don't know what he was saying. That one isn't as bad, but still. I mean, if you're the mayor, you should speak a little better than that. What, did you follow what he was talking about? No. You, exactly. I, no, <laughs> I, honestly, you, you, you try. Yeah. And then he you're... runs on and on. You don't know <laughs> what he's talking about. <laughs> Well, let's go to the next one. Mayor Menino says business is growing in Boston. <laughs> Why are we continuing to lose private sector jobs and failing to create new ones, and how would you reverse that trend? Uh, John, 1,200 jobs increase because we continue to improve the Boston public schools, the police department, and fire. If you look at those number of those jobs, they go into public safety and education, I say. We're increasing our job. We just worked with one of the corporations to bring them to Boston. <laughs> they're, they're going from 700 do jobs to 1,200 jobs. We continue to invest in new economies down the water from the creative industries of our city. We continue to do those things as we go through the uh, difficulties of this um, recession that we're in. But I just want to say, looking forward, how do we look forward? Is we look at the, um, the life uh, sciences. How do we continue to invest in life sciences? Life sciences? How do we continue to look at what we're doing with the... Uh, 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 the uh, legal seafood development. What? How we create all these things that 
continuing to bring jobs to Boston. You know, the, the um, uh, Minnesota Research Bureau only looks at small numbers. We look at the big picture and how we create more people to come into our city, how we're helping businesses grow in Boston. That's what I'm looking at. Not then bringing in new people. P Thank business grow in Boston. Precision. Thank you, <laughs> Mr. Yu. <laughs> he ended with precision. <laughs> precision. And didn't he say he bring in new, more people into Boston for jobs? And then he goes, "We're not looking to bring new people yeah. into Boston." Yeah. He, contradicted he contradicted himself, himself completely. There. A little bit. A little bit. I think wow, what he was, was getting he at was there are new jobs in Boston because he opened legal seafood restaurant. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wow. And you don't brag about 1,200 jobs in a city <laughs> in like Boston. In 16 years. Yeah, in 16 years. <laughs> 100 jobs a year, basically. Great. <laughs> uh, Fucking guy. Mayor Menino responds to accusations of corruption. Uh-oh. Well, uh yeah, this is something that's uh, talked about up there in Boston. C I, I, I can't even say the word. These guys will tell you that they've squeezed the budget to the minimum. But just back on June 20th, a city hall worker, someone who worked at the BRA, James Rourke, gave the mayor a $200 campaign contribution. Ten days later, the mayor sold Mr. Rourke a piece of city property assessed at $100,000. All right. You know Whoa. what? You know what, though? This guy's got to relax. Why? He gave the mayor two hundred dollars, and the mayor turns around and gives him a property worth over a hundred thousand dollars for two hundred dollars. Well, well, same guy. If there's corruption, wouldn't you think that number would be a bit higher? Maybe that's all you saw. A piece of city property assessed at a hundred thousand dollars for a mere five thousand dollars. This is the mayor's signature on the deed right here. Oh. This is the type of corruption that's going on at City Hall right now under the uh -oh. auspices of our political figures here. We need to stop the giveaways that's going on here. Okay, that's a serious, specific charge made against you, Mr. Mayor. I want you uh, to take the please. first turn to rebut it. Go ahead, sir. John, Kevin, that's nonsense. <laughs> you know that. <laughs> John, That's nonsense, you know Kevin. that. John, Kevin, oh, how am I going? I don't know the other guy. I don't even know his name, but he at least sounds like a politician. Yeah. That's nonsense. You know that. And my record shows it. Mr. Rook or <laughs> got a piece of power about a lot. We have that pro program in City Boston. Land next to a person's home. We don't want to maintain that lot, so we sell it to the abutter next door. We went to our legal counsel. We checked it out. So, you know, your charges are out of balance. Your charges are what? <laughs> out of balance. <laughs> out of balance. There's like out of bounds, out of line, anything but out of... <laughs> <laughs> he couldn't pronounce Rourke. It's just his last rook. name. <laughs> <laughs> that Rook. <laughs> we don't want to maintain that lot, so we sell it to the abutter next door. We went to our legal counsel. We checked it out. So, you know, your charges are out of balance. Out of balance? Out of balance. <laughs> yeah, not out of balance. I trying to say out of bounds. Out of bounds. Oh, Mr. Rook. Mr. Rook. <laughs> Mr. Rook. 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 Mayor Menino gets enabled. snippy about the city budget in this next Oh, clip. boy. Is this a good one? Oh, yeah. As a matter of fact, since January, the mayor has put $120 million into the bank. All right, rebuttal. That is not true, Kevin. It's uh, Here's the document million dollars. right here. One at a time, please. This is capital funds we use to pay our bills in city government. If you know how to do city budget, that money is used to pay our bills. And the city government continues to grow our expenses, our union contracts, salaries, operation. That's why we have the additional exactly. money. Exactly. It grows and grows and grows, wow. but we don't get union better service. So, let me just tell you, the city has been lowest. We've had the highest bond rating <laughs> of any of our city ever in the past. Why? Because you know how to manage our city well. Also, we reduced the uh, uh, refinance of bonds. We saved $30 million. 8.6 million was not saved by overtime reductions. Also, here's health the document insurance. right here. We have more dollars. money in that, the bank than well, that, we ever had that in is history. A, you know, Kevin, we'll give you a lesson in budget management because you don't understand it. <laughs> I was fortunate. I, I like you a lot, but you don't understand budget All right, management. let's let the other. <laughs> <laughs> you don't understand budget management. But this is the mayor trying to talk. He's, he's on the run in this debate. Mm -hmm. Oh, boy, that one Kevin guy is really bashing him. He's, he's got paperwork, he's got signatures, he's got fucking figures. 
Mr. Mayor, with all due respect, you have too much power. Your office has too much power. And unless we address that, none of the things that we've talked about on this debate uh, are going to be uh, uh, solved as challenges that we're going to face in the 21st century. Go ahead, rebut him. Yeah, uh, <clears throat> Sam, this is the, just me. It's the people who work for me who have a say in what happens to the government. I have a cabinet, over half of those individuals, over half of them, didn't work for me in the campaign. Most of my department heads did not work for me in the campaign. This is not Pat about Patrick. It's about hiring the best people to do the job. Oh, Carol what? Johnson, Ed Davis, Barbara Faria. That's what we continue to do is hire people who are experts in their field to help me do the job. Because mayors can't do it alone. You need a good staff. And also you have to have neighborhood folks to call on every day to help you make decisions about how you move the city forward over the next several years. Go ahead. He's not rebutting the, no. the, the charges. No. <laughs> he's charging that the mayor has too much power. <laughs> and then he talks about his staff. <laughs> Someone <laughs> writes, Super Antenna, S-U-P-E-R-I-N-T-E-N-N-A, Super Antenna, Sku, Ka, Me. And then writes, <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> <laughs> Super Antenna, Sku, Ka, Me. <laughs> There you Mr. Go. Odorous Arungus comes from. <laughs> wow. Mayor Manito. Oh, wow. 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 I'm stunned every time he speaks. It's, it's amazing. It's I think if you I think if you become a politician, you really need to to know how to speak. Yeah. In public. Right? Unbelievable. He yeah, you should be able to part of it is being a public speaker. Your job is to uh, you know run the city, but then you have to be able to communicate what you're doing and what you've done to those people. <laughs> How do you do that when you can't even speak? You can be the head of John Hancock. You can be the publisher of the Globe. And I'll tell you when you was mayor of the Boston, city of Boston. You could be mayor of Boston because we all come from the same place. <laughs> what? What? When you're trying to plot your summer fun. Look for the oversized. Map pins will be a different <laughs> attraction across our city. Okay, I defy you. I defy you. Go try to find a map in. <laughs> to tell me what the fuck he was just talking about. If you're in Boston right now, please try to find a map in. Give me take, a map in. And take a picture of that. A map in? I've never seen a map in before. <laughs> <laughs> what do they eat? <laughs> what, what do map ins eat? <laughs> These cost increases can get the way of having summer fun. But all of you let it. What? <laughs> There's a mappin. These are. Is that a mappin? Sam found some mappins. <laughs> What's a mappin? Mappins find jewelers. <laughs> mappins no, find not, jewelers. That's not what it is. Oh. Mappin. Mappin. Of course, some of the classics for you. Tomorrow's day of celebration, actually. Come down to bar, come downtown. Enjoy yourself. Give the Celtics the rousing uh, cheer they deserve. A rousing city, city a rousing season in the city of Washington. A rousing, <laughs> rousing <laughs> season. You know what? And it won't even be close, by the way. He will be reelected. Oh, yeah, yeah. He, he, the, no one comes close to beating this guy. I don't get it. I'm really delighted to have you jo hosting our first uh, <laughs> Joe. ever joint ceremony of <laughs> celebrate uh, 2008 Boston Educators and Service Excellence Award winners. <laughs> you Jehosen. What's you Jehosen? <laughs> I don't get it. Yes, the number of individual homeless are down. <laughs> Just two more for today. I was on Berkeley Street one day. Who was on the street begging? The guy who played cards with. Because he turned to alcoholism. <laughs> and finally. But also, you know, doing resumes. Now, the other thing is going to teach you on Friday. I'm very important, so, you know, if I, I was you, but who was you to be there? <laughs> who's, who's you to be there? <laughs> well, well, who's you to be there? We'll leave it there. We could go all morning with yeah. this. There's literally another Fuck. 30 clips. He is 30. a wreck. And he'll be, uh, oh, yeah, yeah. be mayor again. Uh, <laughs> let me say hi to Doug in Boston. Doug. Hey, what's up, guys? Hey. All right. He is an ass, and he cannot speak. But a map in is a little blown up corner down of, of if you ever look at a state map and they have the city blow ups down in the corner with all the details of it. Sure. That is a map in. It's two words. 
He's just a fucking mumbling idiot. Mapping? Oh, so you can't even really defend him. Did he even mean that? Yeah. It's a map. Yes, it, it is an actual thing. Okay. Thank you, he sir. He just can't talk. Wow. Uh, <laughs> let me go to Michael in Virginia. Michael? Good morning, boys. Hey. Hey, when he holds a press conference, does someone next to him have an applause sign to let people know what's going on? <laughs> yeah, just, uh, he's astoundingly... He's a fumbling idiot. Absolutely. You, you, you just can't hear But he'll be the mayor again. Chris, Long Island. Him. Hey, what's up, guys? I, I uh, heard if you ask Mayor Menino about the three branches of the government, he can tell you the House, the Senate... And legal seafood. <laughs> yeah, illegal seafood. <laughs> and Andy in Cleveland. Andy. Hey, as bad as Menino is, I don't know if I want to, want to trade him for what we got in Cleveland. We got Frank Jackson. He's the anti-Obama. He looks white, but sounds like an ignorant black man. Oh, mm -hmm. we might. Can we get some of that? Maybe yeah, we can like find some money of that guy. Yeah. Thank you, and sir. He's up for re-election. All right. Yeah, we'll look into that. I appreciate it. Uh, let's go to John in Salem. Massachusetts. Hey, how's it going? Hey, John. Offering some translation for uh, for Mr. Menino. Yeah. The 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 son of fun after the uh, the mapping. Yeah. He he just wanted to to have everyone go to the beach and have some summer fun with a mapping. <laughs> it's a uh, a small Japanese child. I don't know if uh, you've seen the videos online. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I don't know what he's saying either. But that's funny. Go to the beach with a mapping. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome, guys. All right. Well, Mayor Menino, um, he announced what? Some kind of um, um, something in Boston. Health emergency. Yeah, one of those health emergencies. I don't really know what that means. What do you get with a health emergency when your dumb mayor says, we got a health emergency? In Boston, we got a health emergency. I bet he says emergency. <laughs> How much? Emergency. Let's see. Uh, let's see if he, right. he talks better since uh, being released from the hospital. He was in the hospital for a while, yeah. taking care of his shit. Today, <laughs> I am declaring. <laughs> Just the way he goes, Tay. It's not even today. Tay. Did he just say, I declaring? I declaring. Did he just say, I declaring? And he's going to say emergency. <laughs> today, I am declaring oh, okay. you got a public health emergency. Yeah. <laughs> a public a public health emergency. But right. part of that is the Boston accent. <laughs> yes, of course to it is. To be fair. But it's hilarious. <laughs> His fucking impediment combined with the Boston accent is not is, good. Is, it's, a, it's a hoot. Today, say, I am declaring, declaring a public health emergency in the city of Boston. Ooh. Is it Boston, right? Boston. The latest reports show an increasingly tough... <laughs> increasingly. <laughs> increasingly becomes increasingly. Increasingly. What the fuck? He's just a fool. He is a buffoon. Look, I know I don't get every word right oh. here on the Opie Anthony show, but fuck. Increasingly. I think you need your mayor to speak properly. Oh, uh, increasingly. How do you say increasingly? Increasingly. The latest reports show an increasingly tough flu season. We're here to give you an update on what we are seeing. Good. <laughs> on what we are seeing. On what we're seeing. <laughs> he almost has a whistle now to his yeah. voice. Oh, he's great. Talk about what we, we all can do. Oh, it sounded like he was a lemon in his mouth. Talk about what we want the law to do. <laughs> That tongue was fucking running rampant right there. He has to keep that tongue in check at every fucking he word. He needs to know where it is at yes. every moment. And he almost lost it right there. Right. That's why he's in the hospital. He's trying to have his tongue shaved down. <laughs> I'd like to just get a carpet just plain. Yeah. Hawk. <laughs> that would hurt. Yes. Tough flu season. Hey, sir. We're here to give you an update on what we are seeing. Here he goes. Mm -hmm. Talk about what we, we all can do <laughs> to protect ourselves. And underscore the importance of taking these issues seriously. Today, we are announcing that this weekend, in partnership with our community health centers, partnership. we'll be offering free flu shots offering. across our city oh, in a coordinated effort with the Public Health Commission. These will be, 
There will be special hours. <laughs> Again, his tongue ran off. It ran, tried to run behind a molar. 20 years in public life, and this blithering idiot. <laughs> <laughs> oh. He gets reelected every single time. Every He's been the year. mayor since we left Boston. Yeah, and he was there We when left we got in 98. There. And he was there when we got there. In a coordinated effort with the Public Health Commission. These will be. They will, there will be special hours and special attention given to this effort. I have no idea Provide what he's saying. Provide extra doses of the vaccine free of charge, charge to all our partners to accommodate this important campaign. <laughs> <laughs> How is he doing? Is he implying? Campaign. Yeah. What did he sound uh, like? Ira. It was yeah. Ira. He okay. did an Ira. Campaign. Oh, please, can we hear that again? Oh, I want to hear that. Free of charge. Charge. To all our partners to accommodate this important campaign. <laughs> <laughs> he's trying to slow it down, I think. He's, he knows he's a fucking mumbling moron. The, the King's Speech guy must have told him, you got to slow it right. down. To accommodate this important campaign. <laughs> we need everyone to help. We need to spread a flu this season. Yeah. We all have to take care of each other and work together. <laughs> the best way. <laughs> I love him. What is wrong with oh, this guy? He's fantastic. What did he just say? Uh, yeah. And work together. The best thing you can do to protect yourself and your family is to get the flu shot. I've had my flu shot. In my tongue. I'm asking you up. to get yours, too. Oh. It's especially important for young children, yeah. the elderly, and people with certain medical conditions like asthma, heart disease, and other conditions. That's why I can't say it enough. Please, <laughs> all of everyone out there, get to the health centers this weekend. Get your flea sh flu shot. Get your, your flea, flea shot. shot. Get your flea and tick collar. We're giving them away over here. To hot worm. Make sure you don't get your hot worm. Get your flea and tick collar. Why you get Lyme disease? Yeah. <laughs> this fucking guy is the best. Yeah. Never disappoints. Oh, get, never. Get your get neutered too. <laughs> I, I, That's okay I'm, with no. you? Yeah. Right. I don't care if people like Obama. It's, uh, you know, it's their problem. I made that up. Um, oh, thank you. Uh, Chuck in Boston. I feel better. <laughs> I was going to start rooting for the Phillies. <laughs> What's up, Chuck? Uh, hey, good morning. Uh, I've got your political update from Boston. Boston. Yes. Well, guess who's mayor today of Boston? Yeah, Mayor Menino won a fifth term. He did it, man. Fifth 57. term. Now, Anthony and I got kicked out of Boston Jesus. 11 years ago, believe it or not. It seems like yesterday, but we haven't done radio uh, in the city itself in 11 years. Mm -hmm. And when we got there, Mayor Menino was already the mayor. Mm -hmm. He yeah. sucks. It's been there forever. It's amazing. Forever. What, what's going on up there? <clears throat> we got some Mayor Menino talking about uh, his win. You oh, really? Hear you sure? Beautiful. Please. Hey, Chuck, thank you, buddy. You're welcome, buddy. Chuck in Boston. Uh, Menino talks about what comes next for Boffiston. Tonight, <laughs> as we stand here. <laughs> yeah, you guys keep believing. Tonight, him. as we stand here yeah, you, on a fiam <laughs> you guys keep, in Boston. You guys keep believing in your politicians. That's oh, okay. God. They're cartoon characters. This motherfucker. And get Bloomberg uh, sounding a, a bit swishy. I want to hear some of that. <laughs> Tonight, as we stand here, <laughs> filled with energy for what comes next, we're reminded again that our city, more than three centuries old, still changes every day. Today, somewhere in Boston, a teacher taught a child to read. Shot a An entrepreneur. Teacher taught a, sh a child, what? <laughs> what is he saying, an entrepreneur? <laughs> somewhere in Boston, a teacher taught a mayor how to read today. That's nice. <laughs> Nothing. 
<laughs> Maybe I should have given it a second and hope for the best. An entrepreneur started a novel business. A neighbor welcomed a new Bostonian. A doctor pioneered a new therapy. Before they started the day, or after they came home, what? they went to the polls. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever they voted for, they voted to reinvent our city yet again. Reinvent? <laughs> yet again? What? By putting you back in there? Yeah, to reinvent our city yet again with me again. Re reinvent? <laughs> yes. <laughs> what the fuck? Unbelievable. Boston's a cool city too, man. I like I like a little Boston. Check I guess there's nothing terrible balances. going on in Boston though. Like as but, much as the guy's a blithering idiot, the city runs. I mean, it's yeah. just amazing though that no one could come up from the ranks <clears throat> and take him out. Yeah. Nah. Yet again, the headlines may read that today we're learn we're elected <laughs> for fifth. What the fuck are you saying? How are you not good at this yet? <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's not like you just got into office. He didn't just get the gig. He's been there for fucking ever. Okay, Big A does the news better. <laughs> 16 years he's been in that office. How does he not know how to talk publicly after all this practice? Wow. I had to back that, that up a bit. Yeah, I want Listen to again. That. I realize read that today we're, learn we're elected to a fifth... Historic term. Historic term, you idiot. Holy shit. You've not been elected to a fifth historic term. It's not like you had one historic term after another. Yeah, yeah, another. It's a historic fifth term. You <laughs> True. fucking wrong order putting words in fucking whole ass. Yes. <laughs> you have to be a good public speaker if you're going to be a politician. Oh, my God. I think you just have to. Yeah. What the fuck? It continues. Thank God. We got a couple more clips from Menino. <clears throat> Let's be clear. <laughs> we haven't made history with this election, but we will. What we create of it. <laughs> what, is it? what does that even mean? Like... S spoken properly, what would that even mean? You know, like a like a good glass of wine. I like to take my time with this audio and yeah. savor it. Yeah. Just kind of enjoy it. Yeah. Swish it around in our mouths a little bit like yeah. he does with his fucking tongue. Of it. Oh, wait. I want to hear that of it again. Of it. Hold on. Sorry. Mm -hmm. But we will. What we create of it. When we have provided a new Boston miracle for our kids, I, I don't even know what design that, a new urban. I don't even know what that. What, what, is, miracle? what did he say there? We provided a new Boston miracle for our kid. You got provided out of it. I the think so. Very good. Very good for you. Miracle for our kids. Design a new urban mechanics for our city. Build one shared future out of our diverse backgrounds. Let them write the record books then. The record books? We put our residents in jobs, residents. shops, and vacant spaces. Residents. Students through college. And the city has a physical downturn. Physical. Have then, people talking in the background. Let's listening. talk yeah. about history. Ah, let's. What a fucking Holy idiot. babbling idiot. It's amazing. What a buffoon. We have one more clip if you'd like to hear it. Please. Yeah? I wish we had more. Uh, let me say hi to Jack in South Carolina. Jack? Hey, boys. Happy hey. birthday, everyone. Hello, Especially sweetie. Especially you. Uh, what's your name? Hey, uh, listen. Oh. Um, if, 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 I don't know if it's the sound quality or anything like that, but he sounds just like Archie Bunker sitting in a chair <laughs> after about a six-pack of beer. Hey. <laughs> You know, he's like, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then all you need is an Edith Bunker. Give me like a beer, Edith, yeah. and shut up, meathead. <laughs> <laughs> what a Anyways, blithering idiot. idiot. That's all I have to offer. Thank Sorry. you, sir. It, it wasn't was a lot. much. Oh. No, it was a good <laughs> observation. Wes, uh, the trucker. Wes? 
Hey, boys. Hey. Uh, super quick. Uh, I like how George Bush would say one word wrong and just get crucified, uh, crucified through uh-huh. the media. And then, uh, <laughs> yeah. And then, uh, this guy can't even talk for the past however many years and no one says shit about it. That's true. I mean, I understand Bush was the president, so that's a, another level up from a uh, mayor, obviously, but, uh, just no one says nothing about this guy. Yeah, the media up there in Boston, they pretty much leave him alone. I mean, there's a few guys, I guess they take a little shot here and there, but, it's amazing they just let him just babble like this and, yeah. and, and don't bring it up as a very obvious thing. He, he, he can't speak. Well, they, he can't. Me- Go ahead. No, so the media treats that kind of the way they should. Like, it really doesn't matter. A little mis- he's just not a great speaker. Like, it, it almost is like, as much as he's an idiot, the fact that he's not a good speaker and keeps getting elected is, is you got to kind of like that. Like, I guess. They attacked Bush for making mistakes, and yet when John Kerry who was running against him would make do certain words he couldn't say they called it a verbal misstep misstep yeah. it was amazing how like the times and stuff would would softly word it for him and yet bush was oblithering it anyway. right right let's say hi to randy randy yeah what's up randy how you doing guys all right randy hey you know those are the people who cheer and i really uh people who elected him those are all his uh, special education teachers Burr, burr. <laughs> uh, that's, that's it for me. <laughs> <laughs> it certainly is. All right, one more clip from Mayor Menino. Uh. The stories may say that today we beat our toughest opponent. But we haven't passed the biggest obstacle yet. My tongue. <laughs> Complacency is the highest hurdle we face. Let us fend off the temptation to rest on past accomplishments <laughs> or to walk in familiar paths. When we do, them them, them, them right. <laughs> Only then. What did he, he say, say right? The, yeah, them, them, rape. Them, them, rape. It's not like rape. he said them, them, rape. <laughs> them, 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 rape. <laughs> That's a hell of a platform to run on. Yeah, what the fuck? I didn't I think I he didn't, wants I'd everyone to rape. I'm not I'd really heard, sure. I'd have heard about this one. <laughs> really? <laughs> them, them, rape? Should that be on the front page? Yeah. Mayor Menino encourages everyone to rape any rape, rape, rape. Them, them, rape. To walk in familiar paths. When we do, them, 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 rape. Only then. Let them rape? Then we can't what? overcame. Can't overcame. Our strongest chance. Then we can't overcame. Did he just say can't overcame? He is a disaster. Yeah. Then we can't overcame <laughs> our strongest challenges. Our victory today is not a trophy to put on a shelf or to parade on a duck boat. It's not a championship, but a chance. Oh, it's dude. an opportunity to improve our neighbors' lives, to bring the city together, and to move it forward. Oh, he stinks. We are going to need all our strengths, all 600,000 of us. He literally says nothing that is sincere. No, it is no, all no. political hack Lie. Mm-hmm. We must concentrate on doing good, not bad. Yeah. Shut up! <laughs> good evening, fellow Democrats. <laughs> <laughs> just to hear right off the bat. It's so good boisterous. evening, fellow Democrats. And you can hear those. He loops. doesn't even have mic technique no, after all these years. It's terrible. And he doesn't know. He doesn't think about what he's saying. Like you can hear in that pause, his brain wanted to say fellow Americans. Yes, but yes. in his head, he also wanted to say fellow Democrats. So he had right. to stop himself. Right. And then he got to make sure he wasn't saying Republican. Like <laughs> yeah. he just does it. He, he doesn't even know how close he's supposed to be to the mic. That's like us starting the show every morning. Like, good morning, everybody. <laughs> yeah, good morning, everyone. Right. Like, how do you not know how to use a mic? He's a dunce. Oh, he is. He's just so intrusive. <laughs> yeah, <he is. laughs> Good evening, fellow Democrats and fellow Americans. <laughs> Aren't they one and the same? <laughs> Aren't just, they one and the same? And fellow people. And fellow yes. Americans. And fellow humans. <laughs> fellow people with ears and heads. <laughs> All right, just say everybody. Hi. Fellow earthlings. <laughs> He yeah. talked for six and a half minutes, and he's filling time by adding yeah. Americans to Democrats. Fellow people in our solar system. Yeah. Fellow people in our galaxy. Fellow people in our universe. Right. Get it. 
Good evening, fellow Democrats. <laughs> <laughs> you know we got to play it another five oh, times. Of course. Oh, he's great. What is he, holding down a belt? <laughs> that doesn't sound like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, little acid reflux. He sounds like a kid who just got shoved out onto the <laughs> yeah. stage in front of the microphone. Uh, talk! <laughs> His abusive father, talk! <laughs> Good evening, fellow Democrats <laughs> and fellow Americans. I come from Boston. Yeah. Right. We launched a revolution. <laughs> we first sent John Kennedy to Congress. There were millions of students who have come to study, including a great American name, Martha Luther King Jr. <laughs> oh my God! Martha, Martha Luther, Luther King, King, King Jr. Jr. I'm trying Martha. to appeal to the colored people here. What an embarrassment. Oh, oh. Martha Luther Martha. King Jr. She was the one from the bus, right? Yes. Yeah, okay. Yes. Is he referencing the Revolutionary War? Because I'm not really sure. I don't know. Or is Tea Party, another, maybe? Yes. Or is there another revolution we that happened in Boston? the Revolution. You can hear the way the crowd went wild. They all knew what he was talking about, but too. What, oh, yeah. What a weird bunch of things to, <laughs> to say it. In a group, like he he grouped a lot of weird things together. He there. did. He's yes, students, Martha Luther King, and, <laughs> and a revolution. Which one we're not really sure. Of. Dude, he's thirty <laughs> seconds in, and already there's murmuring. Martha, <laughs> how are you losing the crowd before two sentences are finished? <laughs> you want to hear Martha? I again? want nothing more. <laughs> there were millions of students have come to study, including a great American name. Martha Luther King Jr. <laughs> Martha, Martha Luther King Jr. Martha Luther King Jr. Oh, Martha. oh, is he a dope? <laughs> when I heard that yesterday, I fucking first I start laughing my ass off, and then I'm just thinking he didn't disappoint within ten seconds right of up. his speech. He didn't disappoint. Good evening, fellow Democrats. <laughs> he Good could, evening. He could have delivered a speech like Kennedy. After after that, and still, it would have been worthy of a Menino sure. just for Martha Luther King Jr. But you can hear in between the pauses, he just loses them. He's yes. non-charismatic completely. No, nothing. Mm. He's got nothing. One more, one more time. <laughs> Martha. There were millions of students who have come to study, including a great American name, Martha Luther King Jr. <laughs> and he said a great America called, yeah. named, <laughs> including, uh, well, I come to study. <laughs> including the great America, Martin Luther King Jr. It's, you, it, uh, yeah, go ahead, Jerry. Your brain is supposed to organize words and then flow them out. But what, what, hap what I think what his brain does is it opens a hatch and dumps all these words into his mouth, and then he has to make a snap decision before they fly out. <laughs> How are you a politician and you can't speak properly? Uh, uh, I don't know. That's hilarious. How is that possible? Oh, it's and he's been mayor forever. He's not new, you know what I mean? Like, this is yes. not like his big... Well, we pulled our stunt uh, 14 years ago. Oh, my God. And he was sounding <laughs> like a mayor. blithering idiot back then. Oh, God, yeah. And he was already the mayor for a couple of years, at least. I think he's yeah. close to 18 years up there now. Yeah. kind of sounds like he's licking Doritos crumbs out of the corner oh, of his mouth brutal. the whole time. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I, I thought... I thought this wasn't that bad when I was watching it live, but now no. I realize I just got used to this. You're just used to him, yeah. And, and please put him in the context... <laughs> yep. Of what happened later in the night, put him in the context of Bill Clinton's speech, sure, and sure. then this speech. I think it's pretty close. Fantastic. I think no, it's a close it was second. To very Clinton's different speech. Oh, was it? Uh, Menino talks more about Boston. Boston. I know all Americans are proud to carry the torch of progress. And in Boston, we take that. Uh, you know what? People are playing along at home, and uh -huh. I, 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 I want to make sure we don't miss anything. Yes. Dan Mooney says he said, and including. <laughs> and, and including. And including, Mar and Mar Mar Martha. Great America, Martha Luther King Jr. Including. <laughs> including Great America, Martha Luther King A wonderful MTV VJ, Martha Luther Queen Jr. <laughs> <laughs> and someone else wrote... You guys, Tony in Michigan, what are cunts of study? Yes, yes, yes. Did he say cunts of study? It did what sound it? like cunts of yeah. study. What was that one? 
They come, come, to, come study. to study. Oh, let's hear that again. Come to study. Yeah, I heard that too. Yeah, a lot of people saying, I can't believe you're missing cunts of study. Scott yeah, that Jersey is also. a good one. <laughs> that means we got to play the whole first clip. I know. Absolutely. Absolutely. Good wow. evening, fellow <laughs> Democrats. <laughs> 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 it's just like your loud, drunk oh, uncle. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and fellow Americans, uh, I come from Boston. We launched a revolution. We launched revolution. We first sent John Kennedy to Congress. There were millions of students who have come to study, come to study. <laughs> including a great American name, Martin Luther King Jr. <laughs> that whole fucking sentence is an abomination. Wow. It's terrible. He, he fucking, like, what is, we started a revolution. We sent... Kennedy to Congress. Like, what is he getting at? Wait, we started. Did he say we start a revolution? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. When we first sent John Kennedy to Congress. Right. He's saying a revolution in the country, oh, the way of thinking. Oh, right. But how are you bombing this fast? No, wow. No, I don't think those two <laughs> thoughts go together. I think no? he really is talking about, like, things that happened in Boston. So he's thinking Revolutionary revolution. War, Kennedy, Kennedy, and Martha Luther Martha King. Martha Luther King. And, oh, yeah, a lot of kids go to college up here. Oh, my God. Holy fuck. All right, let's move on to the second one. He talks more about Because he forgets Albert DeSalvo also went to school up there. <laughs> Albert DeSalvo, <laughs> desalination plant. <laughs> I know all Americans are proud to carry the torch of progress. In Boston, we take that job very seriously. <laughs> Mitt Romney. Oh, you see that? That was where it was very supposed seriously. to be. And he, he pauses. Because no one knew what he said Mitt there. Romney. And he moves on to his next topic. You've never heard it before in his speech. He's a dud publicly. He's horrible. Great America. They seem to like him up there. In Boston they do, but this is how he does on a national scale. Like when you put him in front of people who aren't from Boston, he's just a fucking mumbling idiot. Yeah. Nobody wants to hear from him. Josh in Philadelphia, he needs commas. Yeah, because there's we started a revolution, meaning the Revolutionary War, I think. Martha oh. Luther Harry Potter girl. Right. <laughs> Very seriously, <laughs> Mitt Romney, he may come from Boston, but his campaign values aren't Boston values. <laughs> because in Boston, <laughs> because in Boston, because in Boston, <laughs> what is he doing? <laughs> the dynamic of this speech I, he, is all over the place. I'm going to say it again. He just sounds like an adult trainable. Yeah, he really does. <laughs> Mitt Romney. Uh, there's no way he's sitting in first class. His inflections oh, and everything no. are so strange. They're very odd. Ah, Boston. <laughs> How come he's not sitting in first? Down syndrome. Anthony <laughs> did that joke. Ah, I already did it. <laughs> I wasn't in here. Oh, well. well you should have been, been listening to the show. To the show. Yeah. Yeah. I, was up, I was cutting up this audio that we're well, listening to were right you, now. Uh, How about multitask? Bikini girls on the computer. Bikini oh, girls. Uh, no. <laughs> Maybe you were doing that. I caught Iraq after the show yesterday as I was leaving. <laughs> it wasn't while the show was on. Uh -huh. But he was once again in his office downloading bikini girl pictures. <laughs> <laughs> he loves bikini girls. <laughs> what? Is that I your love... fetish, Iraq? Hubba, hubba, I love how it always goes back to Iraq. Always. We we're the furthest away from me oh. right now, and we know how to get it back to him. Yes. You like Bikini Girl picks? I look at the celeb sites, yes. Oh, celeb sites. Go, uh, I like uh, Babes Daily, I think, on that one. Nice. I Do like you like girls? that better or oh, Naked oh, Girls, Iraq? Oh. I like Babes Daily has uh, Bikini Picks. I like Girls Daily has the nudes, and I like Sex Daily has little sex clips. Yeah, yeah. Right. And and I like Redheads. It's not bad. Not yeah. bad. Nice <laughs> fat ginger pussy. <laughs> With freckles on yeah. it. Ginger girls are taking over fucking the uh, television uh, airwaves as far as commercials go. Really? It's all henna heads now. All of them. It's amazing. Mm. They don't look too bad. I, I uh, we'll get back to you, Rock, in a what second, else? but this Mayor Menino shit is too good. Because in Boston, <laughs> we know this country didn't become great by excluding folks. They're leaving each other on their own. What? They're leaving? What did he <laughs> just say? Rome. On their own? <laughs> they leave each other. What did he say there? I'll well, leave each other on their own. Yeah. Uh, the leave fucking... each other on their own. Yeah. Uh, leave each shoemaker comment alone. <laughs> <laughs> They're leaving each other on their own. 
<laughs> their own. In Boston, you know what we call immigrants? Oh boy, mom and dad. <laughs> mom you know and dad. What we call immigrants? Mom and dad. Yeah. Mom and dad. That's just the Boston yeah. accent. Mom and dad. Yeah. And you know what we call the jigaboos? <laughs> we call them jigaboos, and we keep them out of our neighborhoods. <laughs> We're the most segregated major city. Of course. Warm when a pregnant woman was killed and her husband said a colored guy did it, the police shook down every Negro in Boston. Oh, uh, he did say torture progress. Torture progress. Pro, progress. Oh, boy. People are picking up on shit. We're, we're not here. Yeah. <laughs> it's fun listening to a Menino. You can't catch it all in one fucking uh, right. swipe. No. No way. Uh, Lonely Bacon. My God, is this fucko speaking Klingon? <laughs> yeah, it is. Fuck. It is another language. <sighs> Why would they put this on prime time so we could all point and this laugh? This guy should have been prime time. We all love to point and laugh. Yeah. You can't say that openly, but we love it. Yeah. The Democrats <laughs> probably squashed that. Oh, yeah, yeah. They don't want to goof like this. They're like, do you want to... Uh... They gave him a shitty time slot. But yeah. if you think about it, okay, you got the mayor of Boston where Mitt Romney obviously uh, was uh, the governor. Yeah, you yes. think he could give him some jabs? That, that, that would be a big fucking moment for the DNC right. if the guy could speak. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Instead, they bury him in the middle of the day when people are driving home. Boston! <laughs> I wish they would give him a show. They really should. I wish He's MSNBC fantastic. would just put him on at night. He's the greatest thing. Great by excluding people? Question mark? Oh. I don't know. All right, the next clip. Uh, Menino mumbles through some of the great things in Boston. Mm. Oh. In Boston, <laughs> like many cities across this country, Cities. Like many we seas. see a progress all around us today. Can I hear that for a second? Like many seas mm -hmm. across the country. We have a lot of what seas across the country. Saying? Atlantic Ocean, Pacific Ocean, Boston. But those aren't across the country. <laughs> In Boston, like many seas across this country, <laughs> we've seen progress all around us today. In large part. <laughs> In large part. <laughs> He's trying to be a dynamic speaker. He's trying to, like... Get the inflection. It lies, pot. Lies, pot. Oh. He's, he puts the inflection in the wrong place every time. Uh, in Peapod. <laughs> in large sequence. <laughs> in large pot. <laughs> it's because. <laughs> in large <lunch> box. <laughs> But that's in your face thing again, out of nowhere. <laughs> he doesn't know how to... <laughs> plug? Bug box? What are you looking for, sir? <laughs> yes, we know he sounds like Peter Griffin. We oh, know. Oh, God. I would assume uh, Seth uh, knows who Mayor Menino is. I when, would assume. When he came up with the whole Peter Griffin yeah, thing. Yeah. Yeah. In large part, <laughs> it's because this president... This administration gave this, ordinary people a leg up. Construction jobs supported by Recovery Act dollars. <laughs> Recovery Act dollars. Better schools yeah. pushed by the president's education reform. By his, his presence? Presence. How he is says he, presidents how like is presidents. He bombing, listing the president's accomplishments. <laughs> like he's actually listing things that they should be going. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Listen to the audience after he says that schools. He, what he's saying is schools are better in Boston because of Obama's president, right. uh, his presidency. Whatever, yeah, right. Any other politician would have gotten an applause break right there. It's the Democratic National Convention. Right. You're preaching to the converted. <laughs> Unbelievable. Pushed by the president's education reform. Ruin hospitals and health centers. <laughs> ruined he hospitals. ruined hospitals. <laughs> he ruined hospitals and health centers. What? What's he saying? I can't vote for Obama if he ruined What's hospitals. He's saying. Yeah. Ruin hospitals <laughs> and health centers. <laughs> What's he trying to really Is say? Is he growing? I don't know. Ruin, ruin hospitals. Is it, can you look online and see if there's a, a trans... Uh, you, you can't ruin transcript. hospitals. Better schools. Pushed by the president's education reform. <laughs> Growing hospitals and health centers. Ruin hospitals. And booming life science companies. It's born from national... What is booby? Booby, booby prize. Dude. 
Boring G- birds. Jim in Pittsburgh fucking nailed it. It sounds like he can't control the volume of his voice. <laughs> <laughs> like he has Tourette's. <laughs> like Roy Hostels. Like he doesn't know what volume's going to come out at any given time. He doesn't. Oh, that's hilarious. So what? He's uh, ruining hospitals and the booming. Yeah. He's supposed to say booming there? Booming? Hey. Ruining hospitals and health centers. <laughs> and booming life science companies Boomy. born from national research support. Bond? So today. <laughs> <laughs> so today. Matt on Long so, Island. So, 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 your pants. <laughs> Matt, Matt on Long Island wants to know. What are what are recovery act dolls? <laughs> <laughs> recovery act dolls, Bobby dolls, all kinds of dolls, <laughs> cabbage press dolls, <laughs> blow up sex dolls, <laughs> recovery dolls. <laughs> we should have went with the whole speech. Oh, we should have. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we we, have we, the whole oh yeah. Speech. No, we got more clips, but. <clears throat> Oh, uh, yeah. Every fucking second of it was great. Wow. Believe me, he just sounds like an idiot. <laughs> I'm just used to this, because I, I watched, and I'm like, all right, yeah. he did all right this time around. No. Uh, Menino tries to take some shots at Romney and talks about an immortal health care system. <laughs> yes, I heard the immortal. <laughs> yes. The immortal. <laughs> and Sam writes, he has a... He has officially lost the audience. <laughs> <laughs> They're now looking at their pamphlets like, okay, who's up next? Uh, this is great. Three minutes in. I think I can go to the bathroom before uh, the next guy gets up there. Mitt Romney talked last week about broken promises. Well, he would know. <laughs> Even worse. <laughs> wow. That was supposed to get something. Uh, a laugh or a cheer. Right. It got oh, God. indifference. Nothing. Uh, Because he's got a a fucking delivery like Eeyore. Oh, well, he would know. (laughs) Uh How many people is he talking to right now? Uh, I mean, not like primetime, but there's there's probably 5,000. Primetime Sam Rutherford? Not like that audience? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's That's quite that audience. Oh, boy. Did he say Mitt Romney fucked last week? (laughs) (laughs) No way. No way. (laughs) Mitt Romney... No way. Let's see. Mitt Romney oh, talked Romney. last week about... Oh, f- top, f- top last top. week about, about... It's close, though. <clears throat> Mitt Romney talked last week about okay. broken promises. Well, well he would know. <laughs> Nothing. Even worse, Governor Romney is now running away from the major accomplishments. A health care reform Accomplishments. That- he called a mortal for our country. <laughs> a mortal for our country. A mortal. A be a mortal man for our country. Like the Hulkster. Like a uh, Hulkster. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Immortal. What is he saying? <laughs> we have an immortal health care system. Mortal. Wow, he <laughs> called a mortal for our country. <laughs> it will never I die. I like that, Romney. <laughs> But he's learned all the wrong lessons. And now he's doubling down on the, all the wrong plans. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, he, just can't, he can't get through anything. He can't get through a sentence. Holy fuck. I don't think he could get through one sentence. He has absolutely oh, zero shit. public speaking. It's zero. It would be zero, right? <laughs> zero. Oh. He was going to say doubling down on all the wrong programs. Yeah. But listen, doubling down on all... The wrong. He just keeps stuttering. The wrong. He's like an open micer. It's like watching a guy do comedy for the first time. <laughs> wow. He called a mortal for our country. <laughs> I like Mitt Romney, but he's learned all the wrong lessons, and now he's doubling down on the all the wrong plans. <laughs> His campaign is based in uh, Boston, it's... a city moving forward. But his ideas would set our country back. I have no idea what the point was there. Got zero Romney's. <laughs> Nothing. He's getting. He's completely but lost did, the audience. Did he say point. Romney's yeah. campaign is based on Boston? It's based on space. <laughs> space blasting. But there's something in there he forgot to say. Romney's campaign is out of space in Boston's <laughs> planet. Boston. <laughs> Let's hear that part again. Ronnie Bennington. <laughs> I want to hear about how it's based in Boston. God, that was a terrible clip. Lessons. 
And now he's doubling down on the, all the wrong plans. His campaign is based in Boston, a city moving forward. Oh, really? For his ideas would set our country back. His, his ideas would set our, our country, country back. back. But, oh, okay. No, but his, can, his, his campaign, campaign is based is, in Boston. A city moving forward, but his ideas would set our country oh, back. Space sounds... port Boston. <laughs> Space port Boston. Never have I seen such a wretched hive of scum and villainy. Uh, Space port Boston. Wow. Well, that well, 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 makes perfect sense when Jimmy says it. But you can see where, like, that line, his campaign is based in Boston, a city moving forward, but his ideas would set the country back. Yeah, yeah. all right, that would, that would oh, get an man. applause break. Yeah, he's but, a, what did he but say? But instead he got nothing. These nothing. are not the words you're looking for. <laughs> <laughs> but he was trying to, he's trying to do a gambling thing, like, he's a good man, but he's doubling down on all the wrong programs. Right. But he just, but he's, he's a good man, but he's down, he's doubling that, like he just destroys his own <laughs> momentum every time. My friend doesn't like you. I don't like you either. I'm here in the cantina. It's Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he said groped and promises. Okay. Groped and promises. Oh. Groped, groped and. Oh. oh. And finally, Menino closes his speech almost as strongly as Clinton did. Right, we heard Bill Clinton's close. Oh, yeah. They all know how to close, man. Yeah, but here he goes. They have to yell over the applause. Oh, right. it's crazy. They Don't stop mostly, thinking about tomorrow. Comes they love them. And they end with like, and God bless the United States of America. Yes. So we're going to get one of those moments. Uh-huh. Up in Boston, we have a plaque that says, No, no colors. <laughs> no colors allowed in this restaurant. <laughs> Up in Boston, we have a plaque that says, Paul Revere started a ride. Which in a way... There's no way the plaque says Paul that. Revere started a ride. Started his ride here, maybe. What does the plaque say? Paul Revere started a ride. Started a ride? No one would put that on a plaque. <laughs> oh, my God. He's trying to get pride up by, by talking about Boston. Now he's representing Boston. But nobody cares. <laughs> Stop talking about Boston. Yeah, we get it. You're from Boston. We heard you. What is national the, convention. What does the plaque actually say? Yeah. <laughs> because there's no way it just says Paul Revere started a ride. Paul Revere started a ride. Ah, <laughs> uh, this plaque. <laughs> Dedicated. Up in Boston, we have a plaque that says, Paul Revere started a ride. Which, in a way, has never ended. That's true about our country, too. And every generation, the American people, have taken up that ride. That ride. Pushing the United States forward. Forward. We've never gone back. So today we have a clear choice to make. Will we move forward together? Or will we go back to the tricks, trickle-down <laughs> philosophies that uh, we're trying to go? <laughs> go back to the tricks, the trickle-down. The tricksy hobbit. <laughs> that we go back. I'll have a Paul Revere on rye <laughs> with some mustard. He <laughs> utterly stinks. Oh, it's God. unbelievable. Oh, my God. Uh, We're together, or we go back to the tricks, trickle down, tricks of the kids. That Romney believes in. Oh, he's got nobody the with him. The choice is clear. <laughs> it's time to keep moving forward. It's time to re-elect Barack Obama as Obama. president of the United States. President. Thank you, Charlotte, and have a great Thank day. Thank you, Salad. Charlotte, <laughs> 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 this is great. <laughs> What's that supposed to be, some kind of sick joke? <laughs> this is going great. You had best unfuck yourself or I will unscrew your head and jump down your neck. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> the Negro. You use your tongue prettier than a twenty dollar hole. So speak literally. I hate you. I'll go home and get your fucking shine box. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh god. Uh, yeah, that's uh Are you about to call me an asshole? <laughs> 
Well, the last time I saw a mouth like that, it had a hook. Whap. <laughs> 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 Yeah, it was very funny. Wow. wow. Reactions to the speech. That's great. <laughs> there you go. Wow. Is he, he, what, a, what a terrible blunder. <laughs> to trickle down. To tricks. Trickle. To tricks. Trickle down. Oh, my God. Is he terrible. Trickle down. The lack of control on his own volume of his voice. Boston. <laughs> <laughs> Just out of nowhere. Boston. We're in Boston. <laughs> I think he's dyslexic. I, yeah, I, I firmly believe he's dyslexic. Has and, to be. And that's his inability to take the written word. He probably is amazing. Like I bet we're going to find out someday that he is an amazing case of overcoming An amazing kid. a tremendous <laughs> deficit. <laughs> like, we should be looking at him like, that is fucking astounding what he's able to do. They're probably going to say someday that it was revealed <laughs> after his death that he had profound autism <laughs> <laughs> or profound <laughs> dyslexia. He has an inability to just read something and say it. Right. But he, yeah. to be his public figure as long as he is, he couldn't be that dumb. It has to be his brain is putting it back. Profound. He was <laughs> profoundly dyslexic. When he would actually not see the words forward, he would read them backwards and then translate Translate them on the way out. We go. Oh my God! He made so few mistakes for a man who was profoundly dyslexic. Uh, yeah. Chuck Nilosek. Uh, he knows what the plaque says. Oh, the idiots! The idiots are coming. The idiots are coming. <laughs> no. Yeah, I started Ride. a ride. Started. What? I don't know. <laughs> a ride. What does the plaque really say? Um, oh, Paul hilarious. Revere, Salted Awry. Okay. Salted Awry. Blue Healer KY. Paul Revere. That is some great, great shit from it's Mayor unbelievable. Thomas Menino. It really unbelievable is. how really bad is. he is. Really there has is. to be a positive in that. Seinfeld episode with Marble Rye. You wouldn't, <laughs> you, would, you wouldn't let him run the counter. <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, the counter out of Dunker, Dunkin' Donuts? No. No. Because he'd fuck the orders up, he'd say them wrong. <laughs> right. Ah, hey, Doug Crawlers. What? <laughs> a Bulgarian cream. <laughs> no, a Boffiston cream. Boffiston <laughs> right. cream pie. Ride. <laughs> Oof. Yeah. I've never heard a crowd so Ooh. completely indifferent to a speaker at a rally where they all have the same oh, ideology. Yeah. Who had to go on after him? Wow. Oh, how easy to follow is that? Yeah, that's true.